Hey everybody, it's Mr. Odom, and I am going to cover section 8.1 in chapter 8, which uh, talks about circles and circumference. Um, so this um, video, which I'm modifying here, um, I'm using some new software, so please bear with me. Um, at times, you might hear me make this sound. <coughs> And that's just uh, because I made a mistake and um, not on purpose. Um, but as I make more of these videos using this new tool, then hopefully things will get better. So um, I'm going to talk about circles and circumference. The learning target is hopefully at the end of this, you'll be able to say, I can find the circumference of a circle and the perimeter of a semicircle. There are some notes for you uh, in Google Classroom. Uh, they were posted um, on Sunday, which is actually today. I'll post them after I'm done with this. And uh, you can print those out and use those to kind of follow along, fill in the blanks, and answer the questions. Uh, some of the tools that you're going to need um, for this um, video is you're going to need pencil, you're going to need composition book or notebook paper and calculator, or you can use these notes, um, either one. So if you want to print out the notes, go ahead and pause the video and the rest of us will wait for you. And uh, so go ahead and print them out. Okay, so we are back. And um, here's what we're going to do. Let's get started. Let's not mess around here. Um, so Hopefully you guys are happy about that. Yes, yes, we're gonna get started. Um, now while I'm going through the um, the video and going through the definitions and everything, there might be a tendency for you might feel like this, or you may feel like this. Something you, I, I talk about something, your brain just doesn't like it, and it does this. Okay. Or you get angry and you're like, Mr. Odom just won't stop. So you pick up the phone, call 911, and I hear this outside of my room. Or as I make these mistakes, you will just laugh hysterically. Okay. Um, yeah, so if you feel like that, just pause the video. Just the beauty of having these is you can stop them at any time. All right. Hopefully at the end of this, you want to do that. Yeah, not too loud though. You don't want to scare people. All right, so let's talk about what a circle is. So, um, a circle. It is the set of all points in a plane. So when I'm talking about a plane, that's a two-dimensional um, shape, figure. It's where we do all of our math when we write on paper, when I write on the whiteboard, as I'm writing on this uh, on my screen. Okay, so a circle is the set of all points in a plane that are the same distance from a point called the center. So we'll call this the center. And then our circle, our circle is just all of these points, all of them. And there are a lot of them. Okay, and all of these points that are the same distance from this point that we call the center, okay? So the center of a circle is the point inside a circle that is the same distance from all the points on the circle, okay? So it's just kind of the reverse of the definition of a circle. The radius, for the radius, we use lowercase r to represent the radius. And the radius is the distance from the center of a circle to any point on the circle. So the radius, is the distance from any point on the circle. So let me pick this point. It's this distance to the center, okay? And then we have diameter. And we use lowercase d to represent the diameter. The diameter is the distance across a circle through the center. So the diameter is represented by this green line. And it's the distance from this point and I'm going this direction, and I have to go through the center to this point. 
Okay, I could also go from this point in this direction to this point. Either way, it doesn't matter. So the diameter, again, is represented by little d. The radius by little r or lowercase d and lowercase r. And there's a good mistake for you. That doesn't look like a d. All right, so let me draw a better d. There you go. Um, what else do we need to know? The circumference, okay? So the circumference, let's look at that. Let me get rid of some of these arrows since you guys are getting this stuff. And this is somewhat of a review. We've talked about this before, okay? So let's talk about the circumference. So let's say here's Mr. Odom with his big head and his little body. And I know what you're thinking. A lot of you are probably doing this right now. <laughs> So I draw my little stubby hands, some beady eyes, and a smile because I'm doing math again, a little bit of hair. I'm losing it, though. It's fine. Um, so circumference, it's the distance around the circle. So if I start here and I take a trip and I'm going to go around the circle, I'm going, I'm walking, I'm jogging, mostly walking because my knees hurt and I, my back, and I come back and I get to this point right here. That distance that I traveled around this circle is called the circumference. And we use capital C to represent the circumference, okay? So remember the circumference, the distance around the circle. All right, um, pi, what is pi, okay? So pi, let me draw the pi symbol in here, is basically I take two lines and I draw a little squiggly on top of it. Um, some people like to draw a pi with straight line and a straight line across. I don't care. Okay. But pi is a ratio. Do you remember what a ratio is? Anybody? Anybody out there? Right now I'm hearing this. I'm hearing a little bit of this. Yeah. I'm hearing some of this. Yeah. I know you got to remember this stuff, people. So. Um, a ratio, remember the ratio is a comparison of two quantities using division. So what are the two quantities we want to compare? Um, the two quantities are the circumference of a circle to its diameter. So if I take the circumference of a circle, divide it by the diameter of a circle, that number is always going to give me pi. Okay, and this was discovered couple thousand years ago um, by Archimedes. You can Google Archimedes and uh, or Google history of pi and it'll talk about how he discovered pi. Um, but basically this number and what we're going to use in class in our virtual class is 3.14. By using this approximation we can just use a regular calculator. Okay just a regular old calculator to calculate pi. All right, so notice if I knew what the circumference of this circle was that I walked around and I knew what the diameter was and I did the math, I would get the number pi, okay? So semicircle, should make sense to you. A semicircle is one half of a circle. Can I draw one? Can I draw one? Can I draw one? No, I'm not good at drawing these, but I'll try anyway. There we go. And I want you to try as well. See, I drew that little line there. So here's my semicircle. Basically, it is half of a circle. So this would be my semicircle. All right. So any questions so far? Make sure you write them down if you have questions. So that way, when we meet for our Zoom help meetings, that you uh, are ready to ask me questions. All right. Everybody doing okay? Has everyone got this? Are you feeling good? Am I, are, wait, I'm hearing some of that. And I think um, some people might have just did that, flushed this in, or some of you might be. And I'm sorry for that. Hopefully some of you are, thank you. Yeah, no, thanks. I, I appreciate that. I really do. Um, but let's do some practice, okay? Um, in order to practice, we need to 
um, understand that there are some formulas that we're going to need to use. So this first question says the diameter of a circle is 16 centimeters. So let me draw a circle and let me put a diameter. That's actually not too bad. And let me make a circle and the diameter, which is all the way across through the center, is 16 centimeters. We need to find the radius. Okay, and we didn't really talk about that up here, but we can. Um, let's look at this picture here. So the distance from this point to the center, that's just the radius. And the distance from this point to the center is also just the radius. Well, what happens when I add those two together? If I add those two together, let me scroll up some more so I can write this down. If I add those two together, I get the radius plus the radius equals the diameter. Well, what is R plus R? Okay, very good. It is 2R. Let me get my pen here. 2R. So 2 times the radius equals the diameter. All right. So now let me write this down again because what would happen if I divided this side by 2? like we used to do back in the day in chapter three. That would cancel, that would cancel, and I'd have the radius equals the diameter over two. This is a really good, useful formula. Guess what? So is this one, and I'll write it this way. Very good, useful formulas. Okay, so let's scroll down here. And notice, if I have the diameter, of my circle and I want to find the radius, then I want to know what the radius is. So the radius equals diameter divided by two. And all I do is plug in my number and I will end up with the radius is eight, don't forget your units, centimeters, okay? So again, we just use this formula and that helps us calculate the radius. What about the diameter? So here, the radius of a circle, there's my, oh, that's not a good one. Um, the radius, radius is nine yards. Find the diameter. Well, the diameter just equals two times the radius. All I do is plug in what my radius is, two times nine, I get 18. So my diameter is 18 yards. I'm good. Whoops. I just made a line somewhere on the, that's not good. That's fine. All right. So my diameter is 18 yards. All right. And again, the beauty of having this video is you can go back and you can um, look at the video over and over again. Not too much because you'll, You'll get angry with me because you get to hear this voice all the time. All right. So, again, hopefully I haven't lost everybody. Maybe I have. Um, maybe some of you might be wanting to do that. But if you just, you're going to get some practice. So don't worry about it. And then you have the video you can go back to. So now let's find a circumference of this object. So before I do that, Let's talk a little bit about circumference. What did we learn? We learned that if I took the circumference and I divided it by the diameter, made this ratio, that always gives me pi. All right, let's use chapter three on this thing. Let's figure out what, how to get the circumference all by itself. What do I have to do? Oh, no, everybody forgot. No, some of you remember, I have to multiply this side by D, which means I have to multiply this side by D. All right, and guess what? Here's a good formula for us to help us figure out the circumference. So if I know the diameter of a circle, I can figure out the circumference. Hmm, interesting. We could also modify this formula a little bit. Say I don't have the diameter. Let's say that I have the radius. Well, I know from above 
that the diameter equals 2 times the radius. Okay, and notice here pi is a number in front of the variable. So pi is a coefficient, d is the variable. So here I have two numbers. I have 2 and I have pi. So let me put these numbers here, 2 times pi in front. So this is my coefficient, and then this is my variable. So here's another way that we can figure out the circumference. If I have the radius, I can figure out the circumference. If I have the diameter, I can figure out the circumference. So let's look at problem three. What do I know? I know the radius is two centimeters. So what formula do I use? I will use circumference equals two times pi times the radius. And then all I need to do is plug in what I know, which the only thing I'm given is the radius. And I know what I'm going to use for pi, 3.14. And there's my problem. Okay, two times two is four times 3.14. And that equals 12.56. And I can't forget my units. Okay, so 12.56 centimeters. Okay, what is that telling me? That's telling me if I went on a trip around this coin, this token, that had a radius of two centimeters, I would travel 12.56 centimeters. All right, let me do one more. I'm gonna save problem five for you, but this one, what do I know? I know the diameter is 14 feet, All right? So let's use this formula. Circumference equals pi times the diameter. So it's pi 3.14 times the diameter, which is 14. And all I do now is get on my calculator. 3.14 times 14. And I get 43.14. 96 and my units are feet. So here's my circumference. So if I have a pool like this in my backyard that has a diameter of 14 feet and I wanted to travel around this pool because I'm playing tag with my friends, if I'm running around the pool, I'm going about 43.96 feet around this pool to try to get to my friends. Okay, so that's how you calculate circumference using one of these two formulas. I will leave this problem here, this last one, for you. And if you struggle with it, then when you see me in Zoom, then we'll go ahead and we will take a look at it. All right, I got two more problems. All right, um, this time we wanna find the perimeter of these semicircles. Okay, that's our job. Let's find the perimeter. So what do we need to do here? It'd be nice if we had a formula. For perimeter, we always use capital P if I want to find the perimeter of something. But what am I what do I need to find the perimeter of? Let me draw a little semicircle here. That no, that's not too bad, actually. All right. And what do I need to find? I need to figure out how far is it from this point? And I travel around to this point. I also need to find how far is it from here? And I'm gonna go straight across back to where I started. So there's two different pieces to this. And if I add these things together, then that would give me the perimeter of the semicircle. Well, if I were to draw dotted lines to kind of finish off, oh, that's horrible, finish off my circle, okay? So there's the rest of my circle. So if I wanted to go all the way around the circle, what do we call that, the distance around the circle? I'm listening, I'm listening, I'm like, no, don't, don't, no, don't do all that, don't, no, I don't want to hear that stuff. Yes. Distance around the circle, that's all I want to know. What is the distance around that circle? It is called the circumference. 
But look, I'm only taking half of the circumference. So if I use this formula, pi times the diameter, because that's what circumference is, and I take half of it, then that gives me this distance around the circle. So this gives me this distance around half the circle. I think I just said distance around the circle. So there's a good mistake for you, Mr. Odom, time to cry. There we go. Um, and now for this distance, this green distance, what does that represent? And this whole circle, that would be the diameter. So let me just add the diameter. And now this part gives me that distance. So really, I have a formula to help me find the perimeter of a semicircle. Let's see if this works. All right, so let me come over here. Perimeter equals pi times diameter over 2 plus the diameter. What is my diameter? Well, I come across here. It is, that should be over here. It is 2 feet. All right, so diameter equals 2 feet. So I have 3.14, that's pi, times 2 divided by 2 plus the diameter of the circle, which is 2. Okay, can I cancel here? I always try to check and see if I can. It makes the math a little bit easier. So now I just have 3.14 plus 2 which even in my old brain, my old head, I can do that one in my head. 5.14, and my units are feet. So there is the perimeter, okay? So I'm gonna save this last problem for you so you can practice, okay? Um, just pay attention to the fact that this distance is not the diameter. That is not. The diameter. Okay. So what is that distance? And if you know that distance, then you should be able to figure out how to get all the way across so that you can figure out what the diameter equals. And then you just use the formula and crank it out. Okay. So um, that's it for the first video. Um, hopefully you guys um, we're able to keep up and keep track. Again, if you use the notes, that'll help. On the last page of the notes, there's a little, um, uh, the last page has a blank circle and you can fill in what you know. We have some definitions, make sure you study those. Uh, and we practice, which is pretty much what we'll do in a lot of our videos. All right, so that's all I got for now. Um, hopefully, oh no, thank you. Gosh, thank you. That is so amazing. I am so appreciative of you. No, please stop. You don't have to do it anymore. That was just, that was just amazing. Um, and we will, uh, I'll see you guys in Zoom. All right. This is Mr. Odom and I'm out.